activist Tista Setalwad and her bail hearing plea. And the latest that we're picking up is that in a big relief for the activists, the top court has granted bail to Tista Setalwad. Remember, this is in connection with the Gujarat riots case. Uh, the charge is that, in fact, she was uh, one of the several people who, quote-unquote, hatched conspiracy. And the latest that we're picking up is that the top court has granted bail to activists. Tista Setalwad, finally a big sigh of relief for the activist. Remember, the hearing was uh, taken up by the top court today. And in fact, the SG had uh, gone on to argue that if uh, Tista Setalwad, the activist, is granted bail, it would uh, go on to in fact set a wrong precedent. However, the latest is that in a big relief for the activist, the top court has granted bail to Tista Remember, in the past two, the top court has observed that there is no reason to deny bail to the activist. And remember, this is in connection with the 2002 Gujarat riots case and, in fact, raising serious concerns about the way activist Tista Setalwad was kept in the custody in Gujarat for more than two months now. The Supreme Court, in fact, also Yesterday, while hearing the case, a day before yesterday, in fact, on Wednesday, the Supreme Court also questioned how the Gujarat High Court issued notice asking for a reply after six weeks. And now today, in fact, in a big, in a key observation, the Supreme Court has granted bail to Tista Setalwad. All right, I'm being joined by my colleague uh, Minakshi Bhanja on uh, the phone line. Minakshi, definitely a big sigh of relief for activist Tista Setalwad. What exactly were the grounds on which she's been granted bail by the top court? What exactly were the SC's observations in this matter? Well, yes, absolutely. Uh, we are in possession of the order that was dictated uh, by the CGI-led bench of the Supreme Court. Uh, remember, this is a bench which took a a five-minute break for in-camera consultation amongst uh, themselves. The judges uh, discussed the issue. And uh, subsequent to that, the pronouncement happened where Honorable Chief Justice of India, Justice Lalit, went into the background of the case, what has been argued in the Supreme Court thus far. But coming back uh, to the operative part of the judgment, the Supreme Court has ordered uh, for Tisa Setalwa to be released on interim bail. And what has uh, weighed on the Supreme Court's mind uh, why granting this order is as follows, and I quote, the essential ingredients of investigation, including custodial interrogation, having been completed, the matter assumes a complexion where the relief of interim bail till the matter was considered by the High Court was evidently made out, unquote. So the fact that investigation has been completed in the case, the custodial interrogation period of this case, where the Chief Justice of India has noted that she was uh, she was interrogated, uh, you know, thoroughly, uh, and she's been in custody for a period of uh, uh, about two months already. They have all weighed on the Honorable Supreme Court's mind while the Supreme Court um, has gone ahead and granted interim bail to Tista Setuwa just moments back. This is big breaking news we're getting for our viewers where the Supreme Court has clearly noted that it is a case uh, where interim bail is evidently made out given the fact that the interrogation, including custodial interrogation of Tista Setuwa, where she was consistently uh, interrogated by the police, all these uh, have uh, been completed. This is a case where ordinary provisions of the IPC were involved. This is not a case where sections of the UAPA have been uh, attracted. Uh, and therefore, uh, as uh, we have been breaking to our viewers, the court has gone ahead and granted interim bail to Pisa Setulwad.